Okay, good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to have you all here at Anthony Collins Sisters. I'm Shivaji Shiva. I lead the charity sector team here. Um, so it's a real pleasure to have Quakers and Business here um, for this event. And a real joy to see the course of a very group of people from charities, from a variety of businesses, um, and from a variety of locations as well. I think I had one person from Belgium. So, um, I'm quite impressed by the reach of this event. We've got Owen here from Quakers and Business. You can start by um, just introducing Owen. Thanks, Shivaji. Thank you all for all coming today. Um, for some, it's been a long trip. There was one person who wanted to come from America, but was prevented. Somebody else is prevented from Surrey because they're 90. And so uh, we have finally, in the last minute, succeeded in getting a recording facility here. So we're hopeful that we'll be able to share this, I hope, quite important event more widely. Um, we're here today uh, as a consequence of Peter's uh, giving us a taste of this material last December at our London annual Creative Business Conference last December 5th. Uh, those of us who were able to participate then were um, really, really excited by the uh, novelty and the quality and clarity of what Peter was sharing with us, bringing to the Quaker Business Method a, a, a rigour of science that perhaps it hasn't ever before received. And does anybody here object to being filmed? If you do, that's fine, but please sit over here. Because this may appear on the website, on, on, uh, uh, on the internet, and you could be... Uh, if you're some of you are lawyers, you know what that means. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. Yeah. Um, those of you who've been friends for long enough might remember that there were cartoons in The Young Friend about 40 years ago. <laughs> well, here is the cartoonist. Well, uh, uh, thank you, Owen, Roland, Travaji, Rico, who have been involved in uh, doing the arrangements, and also to uh, Anthony Collins uh, for hosting this. I've uh, uh, been uh, closely involved with Quakers for uh, perhaps uh, five years, uh, but I've known about uh, uh, Quakers, and as Owen says, uh, I uh, did a cartoon strip in The Young Friend in the 1980s. Uh, ever since I started going to uh, Quaker meetings for business, it struck me that my work and uh, my uh, interest in uh, Quaker uh, business method actually intersected quite nicely. And so a lot of the ideas uh, that I've got, um, which I draw on to do my uh, professional work uh, in cognitive science, uh, can actually be used to try and explain um, how the Quaker business method appears to work. So certainly all of us who have experienced uh, the Quaker business method think there's something about it uh, that um, uh, d does seem to work. Let me just get calibrated. How many of you, let me, uh, please everybody put up one hand. Okay, how many of you have experienced more than 10 Quaker meetings for business? Lower your hand. Okay, if you've experienced only uh, more than 10. Okay, if you've experienced uh, uh, only say uh, one or two, lower your hand. If you've never been to a um, Quaker meeting for business, leave your hand up. Okay, thank you. What I'm going to do is uh, present the Quaker business uh, method as a toolkit. Okay, so break it down into a number of things which people could use in order to organize um, meetings that are going to make decisions. And so that's why I want to know how many of you uh, know what the Quaker business method is like and have been to um, meetings for business. I'll give some explanations about how at least I interpret that. Uh, so that'll be for 20 minutes. Then there'll be 10 minutes where it'll be useful to have a whole group discussion where we can share our views about how the uh, approach uh, seems to work or perhaps not work. Uh, then there'll be um, another 20 minutes where I'll uh, take the characterization of the Quaker business method as a toolkit and then take ideas from cognitive science in order to try and see how difficulties that we as humans have in processing information and making decisions might be mitigated by some of the tools uh, in the toolkit. And then there'll be, again, a session of um, about 10 minutes for uh, discussion. And then the third section is going to be asking the question whether the approach might actually lead to more ethical decision-making. Okay? 
and I'll do this by presenting a particular uh, idea of, about the nature of morality and, and after the uh, third section uh, there will be a, a time plenty of time again for discussion so uh, that's the plan for today